Coaches, Mike Kuchar, www.xandolabs.com. We're going to show you some of these cut-ups from Coach Hazard, the offensive coordinator at Lake Erie University. Lake Erie coming off a tremendous year at a Division II level, putting up 551 yards per game. This is their bread and butter, their inside zone scheme, which we all know a lot of teams are employing these days. But the way they run it is special, and we wanted to document this for you. A lot of these clips are out of the diamond formation. Okay, which I think separates them from some other programs. We know it's big now with the Diamond. These are just some of the things they're doing offensively, which we think is pretty impressive. So we'll get an end zone shot, uh, a wide shot, end zone shot of this as we go through this. And, uh, you know, huge numbers from Lake Erie University. Seven day average, 7.8 yards per game, yards per attempt on this game, which is tremendous. And the way they're doing things, this is all documented in the full length clinic report. Uh, if you're an insider member, you could access it. The way they're doing things, especially, is they're just tra they're training inside and outside zone the same way, what they call a full full field zone. Okay, so right now we're going to the left out of the diamond formation here. Okay, and again, all the specifics are in the clinic report. You got zone blocking up this way. Okay, the way they do it is special. Okay, in terms of their footwork, they are a big bucket team. In terms of what they're doing, they're, they they believe in bucket steps. They believe in getting depth off the ball. Okay, and making the and giving the decision to the defensive lineman in terms of where the ball is going and cutting off that. Okay, so what you're doing now, here's the end man line of scrimmage. There's a read right here. Okay, this is more of a, you know, you got the bluff concept or a sniffer concept where he's coming around this way. Okay, the read's right there. Now just watch the, the efficiency of the offensive line here, you know. All of a sudden, he sees color, and a lot of teams are doing this now, especially in pistol or diamond formations. Inside linebackers are rocking back, okay, away from the play. And what that does now, that opens up a cavity to the front side. All that defensive end does is get sucked inside. The tackle takes care of him, okay, and you're out the back end. And, uh, you know, you lose force on a corner like that, it's going to be an issue. You know, Coach Hazard talks about in goal line situations, he calls this zero formation, okay, diamond set. Again, you'll probably get a better look on the end zone shot here. Three techniques to the play side. I mean, this is zone step in here, but again, the way they teach it are different. It's a four o'clock step. Okay, it's a four o'clock step. It's a four o'clock four o'clock step. They're all walking that way. He's gonna knock him off the ball that way. Okay, here's a front side. Okay, there's a read back side here for the five technique. And all they're doing is just working that zone, working on those tracks. Okay, you know, they're all working to that level. Ball's being placed right in the tailback's gut. Cavity is there. Another four down front team that's going to show some pressure. Now, this is more like a veer read. Okay, there's not so much inside zone where it's a front side read here. Okay, you got a spike. By the five technique here, okay, so once now that color does not show, okay, that tackle is going to block color, okay, just like that, okay, C-gap defender, whoever, it looks like a little exchange here, which is fine, and again, what you're doing now is you're sending the H-back or F-back to block force, okay, Coach Hazard calls the number two from the sideline, as most coaches do, okay, this could be the pitch man if you want to add that triple element into it, all right, but again, you got a wide open C-gap here, it's a gap exchange not played the right way by the defense, Okay, ball's given, ball cuts back. Quarterback had a couple options there. You know, I just, when I when I watch this, I just like the way the ball's getting cut back, and he talks about this in the report. You know, you, you don't train the running backs to do too much. You know, they, they find creases, you let those guys run, but the technique of the offensive line is what I think is different in this. Okay, so what's going to happen now, it doesn't matter where you are in the go on the field. Everyone's taking those steps. You know, you see it's a bucket step here by that center. It's still a 4 o'clock step by. It doesn't matter where you are. Okay, the reads a C-gap defender. Okay, this player's blocking force. This player could come be the pitch player now in the triple option concept. Okay, you know, but again, you have a linebacker stuck there. You know, and, and this does things defensively. When you got a guy out there, when you player out there blocking force, when you have a pitch player out there, okay, this inside linebacker, you know, he's got to make a decision. Is he going to widen to play the pitch? He's going to widen for that flow. If that's the case, you're going to get a cavity inside here, and that's exactly what you get on the goal line, and, you know, you get what you get here. And that's why the play was so effective 
for Lake Erie on the goal line. Kind of same situation here. Looks like the same game. Okay, got a bobble snap. Now what's happening is, you know, they're going to decide to zone it this way. And they're going to block the read. So the five technique gets blocked. Okay, the guard's down on the two eye technique. Nobody in the B gap. Four down front again. Again, it's just a front side read. Here's a three technique here. Okay, here's a five out here. Okay. We're all zone blocking this way, taking those steps. And, you know, Coach Hazard was really good in the full-length clinic report about talking about the hand positioning. Um, there's two instances of hand position that he talks about when he talks about hand strike and, and, and hand progression. Um in terms of whether or not they're going to get outside leverage or not on this. And uh, if you haven't read it yet, I suggest you do because it's pretty, pretty innovative. It's simple, which I think anybody could employ. But in any situation here, okay, this tackle is working up to the B-gap defender. There's the read. Okay, the read's getting wide. I mean, he's playing a feather right now, and you got a player right now, okay, coming to block the force player. It's going to put him in a bind immediately. But again, it's where the back goes with it. And this back, pretty special player. Okay, he's not able to break both tackles, but the ball is able to cut back on it. Another four down front. You know, Coach Hazard does a pretty good job in the full-length clinic report talking about how he identifies the front, how the quarterback identifies the front, okay, and how he's making the calls in terms of who's blocking who. You know, in this situation, again, front side read. They're all zone blocking here. Three techniques taken care of. Center's climbing up to the A-backer, uh, the A-gap backer. Okay, we're over here. All right, here's the read right now. But when you teach the vision of the back and the way he de he teaches it, it's pretty special. Okay, this back is not keyed into the front side of the play. Okay, he's more keyed into the back side of the play based on what he's seeing. He was able to see it. He's able to take it back there. You know, now the average is 7.8 yards a carry on this scheme. That wasn't it, but you know, you, you see, you're seeing these big breaks that they're getting because of the consistency of what they're doing up front. Okay, a little different angle. Still seeing a four down front. Okay, there's the front side read. And again, I don't, you know, we, we don't know what these defenses are doing, but you know, this doesn't help. You know, giving that eye candy to that player does not help. He's gonna widen. You know, if he's gonna strike down, if he's gonna take the ball carrier right now, then the quarterback's gonna play it off of him and you got the triple concept. All right, but again, you see this right here? The point of the football. Okay. You know, how he's training, how Coach Hazard is training that linebacker, how that quarterback the mesh. With that running back is is pretty decent. It's pretty intricate. He talks about it in the report. But right now he's that defensive end's widening. Right now he's he's having a hard time playing that B gap. And a running back just cuts it back. You know you see what he sees here. And you know I always like looking at the linebackers, seeing what they're doing as I'm watching this scheme as a defensive coach. Okay, but right now this player's widening. He's seen zone this way, so he's naturally going to widen right there. But this player, okay, see it holds him up. Okay, it holds him up. This motion, this motion holds this player up. And now the combo is able to get to him. And you got a huge crevice right there in the backside A gap. Now this is going to be a little different for you. You know, we asked Coach about this. You're going to see the, the front side H-back or F-back. He's going to block the, the C-gap player. We asked Coach about this. He said it was a mistake. You know, a player not executing his assignments here. But, um, again, it works, and it's something you could kind of add to the offense if you'd like. Okay, he's kicking a C-gap defender right there, so they're eliminating the read principle on it. And the ball ends up hitting the B-gap. So, I guess a blessing in disguise for Lake Erie. You see it again here in the goal line situation. Players doing the same exact thing, and it's you know it's an option for you. If you want to push the ball into that B gap, 
And if, if you got a one to five, or it looks like you got a looks like you got a two I and a five here. You know, if you want to push that ball in the B gap, go ahead and get that tackle on the inside linebacker. Kick out with the F and push it in the B gap. Which is exactly what happens here. So you don't have to block the read. Or uh, you have to block the read, I should say. A couple more here, coaches. So at least we get a pull here. Oh, well, what? Could have been a pull, was not. And again, coach, coach has over 37 clips for insider members at www.xandolabs.com. You could get the full concept cutups of this in two by one formations, two by two formations, tight end close formations. We're just showing you the diamond stuff because it's big now, and I, and I think it's pretty, uh, pretty innovative what they're doing. This is, a, this is a three down front, 50 defense, as you're seeing it here. Okay, but again, here's the front side read. Here's the five technique here. Okay, they're all blocking down. All right, this player should be coming around to block force. Or that player becomes a pitch. So this is a wrinkle that coach put in. Okay, a little different. Okay, when you're not blocking a force player, you're sending the H back, the other H back away. Okay, for whatever reason. Okay, if you, if, if, you know, just a change up in the scheme. Back finds a place to take the ball. Coaches, we appreciate your attention. Again, it's just a little snippet of what, what Coach Hazard does at Lake Erie. He put a terrific clinic report together for us this week. On just and, and he really went in detail in terms of not only how the offensive line is blocking the scheme, which we think is different than most coaches on the inside zone, but he also talks about, like we talked about, quarterback identifiers in the dive game and the pitch game and uh, you know where the pitch is coming from. He talked a lot about going in three by one and having the backside X beat a pitch player which is something different you don't hear about a lot. So tremendous success, and congratulations to Coach Hazard and Lake Erie staff. Did a great job this year in Division II football, and uh, we're, we appreciate them being gracious enough to share some of their concepts with us. Coaches, thanks for logging on, and good luck this offseason.